SLG testing facility in Chemnitz, Germany. We are testing the EMC of our vehicle Rimac C2. I'm Warner Radman, I'm vehicle electrical multiplex technician at Rimac Automobile. So today we are going to see how our car will behave in real world situations. So we will see how the car emits emissions to the world and how it reacts from the emissions from the outside world. There are regulations for homologation. You cannot emit too much electromagnetic field because you would destroy traffic lights, speed cameras. Also your phone wouldn't work, your radio wouldn't work, anything powered by electricity wouldn't work correctly. Electromagnetic radiation is really tricky. You cannot see it, you cannot feel it, but it has huge impact on our world as everything is powered nowadays. Everything is electric. EMC testing is the testing of all electronic devices to see how they impact environment. Electric vehicles are especially interesting because they have the biggest impact of all the devices. They have huge motors, huge inverters, huge voltage changers, and our car is especially interesting because it's the most powerful electric car on the market. We are located in the EMC room. It's completely shut off from all electromagnetic radiation in the world. It's completely shielded. We can see only the interaction of the car or how the car reacts from the emitted signals with special devices placed in this room. So when EMC test starts, this room shuts off antennas inside of the room, measuring the electromagnetic radiation to see only specific waves at certain frequency levels of this car, of this device, how it impacts the world. During the test, the vehicle is driving at certain speeds. Certain things are turned on, like lights, hazard light, wipers, air conditioning, HVAC blowers to see how it impacts the electromagnetic field because all of this is powered by electricity. In the immunity test, we set the car at a certain speed with all electrical devices turned on and we basically bomb the car with antennas and radio signals going from 20 megahertz up to 30 gigahertz to see how it impacts the car. We are connected to the car communication networks, to CAN, and we are monitoring all CANs to see all messages, how they are impacted by outside radiation. Will temperatures in cooling change? Will some requests for throttle, for brakes change? How immune is it as a system to an outside radiation? In our vehicle, we have different driving modes. We have cruise mode, range mode, sport mode, track mode, drift mode. It is important to test each and every mode because the inverters work differently, the power distribution is different, and we need to know how vehicle acts in all of the situations. Today, we tried all modes available in our vehicle at the moment, at this stage of the development, to see where we need to improve the most. Before this, we tested each component individually. We test the grounding of the vehicle, wiring of the vehicle to make sure everything is up to spec so we have the best results on our first try. So we worked a lot on our powertrain controls, on our inverter controls to have the car as mature as it can be, to have it as close to the zero production car as it is possible. Our problem is that homologations are the same for all vehicles. So internal combustion engine cars don't produce as much electromagnetic emissions as electric cars. So our car is high performance, high power, so it's the hardest car to put under homologation requests. The purpose of this testing was for Rimac to know where we stand, where are we now, what we need to do to achieve the homologation requirements. When the car goes back, we will disassemble it, check the graphs, check the measurements, see what can we improve, how to improve it, and then assemble it, test it, make sure it works, and then come back here and see how much did we improve. 